I recently had the extreme delight of being able to keep tabs on an American Dipper nest. I found them up in the mountains at 10,300 feet. Water from a lake was flowing through a culvert into a rushing stream, exactly the habitat that dippers like to call home. I have another video on the American Dipper, which I'll link to below if you want to check it out. After studying the reinforced wall of wooden supports and rocks, I found it. A soccer ball sized dome of moss and grass with a well defined entrance and the female diligently incubating her eggs. Their eyelids have white feathers and when they blink, the white is very noticeable. I quickly learned to look for the flashing white as an indicator that she was on the nest. In my time there that day, I saw her leave the nest once, but she was only away for a short time before returning again. On my next visit, I looked for the flashing white feathered eyelids and saw that the female was on the nest. This time, I saw the male make multiple trips out to the stream and return to the nest to feed her, pausing on these logs periodically. At one point, I found him perched on a rock in the middle of the lake with a sizable catch in his beak. I even saw him dive and bob along the water just like a duck. It was truly remarkable to see this. Two days later, I saw him taking a break from his busy foraging schedule to preen on a rock amidst the rushing water. The female was busy inside of the nest. Though I can't be sure, I suspected that some of the eggs had hatched. Twelve days later, I arrived to see the female on the nest. She must have been getting warm as she was holding her beak open to release heat. She briefly left the nest and when she returned, I caught my first glimpse of the chicks. It was very exciting. Eight days later, I saw the chicks with eyes open, tufts of down on their heads, and eagerly awaiting food. Then she left, joining the male in bringing food to the hungry chicks. If you look closely, you can see there's a third chick behind the oldest two. After the female left, all three were lined up at the nest entrance. They seemed acutely aware when one of the parents was approaching, as they would suddenly perk up and gape, ready for a meal.
Just six days later, I went to visit and found that the nest was vacant. I noticed that the entrance to the nest had been widened and there was no sign of the parents or the fledged young. I was so hoping to see them one last time before they left and was sad that I missed the opportunity. In the end, it was me who was left feeling the effects of an empty nest, but I was so happy to be able to witness this. I hope you enjoyed sharing this experience with me. Thank you for watching, that's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.